Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, hi my name's Lydia and I'm a second year business management student at the University of Leeds and today I thought I'd give you a quick fire tour around the Leeds University campus as I know that quite a few of you are starting in September or you're looking at coming here in the future and maybe because of current circumstances you haven't had a chance to visit Leeds and see the campus for yourself or maybe you're just watching this video for the fun of it. I don't know but I hope you enjoy. Hello, so I'm currently editing this video and I just wanted to insert this here and say a few disclaimers before everything gets started. Firstly, I want to point out that this is by no means a comprehensive tour of the University of Leeds. The campus is massive and I'm not going to lie, I really don't know what half the buildings actually are. I just filmed all of the buildings and the places that I believe you will probably visit regardless of what you study. If you are seriously considering Leeds as your first choice university, I would still recommend coming and having a look at the campus for yourself so you can get a proper feel for it. You're gonna have to excuse all the background noise, we're right next to a road and it's windy, but this is Parkinson building and this is the building that you'll probably see on like loads of the university like marketing material. It has Brotherton Library in it, which is one of the four libraries on campus. I think there's also a cafe in there. There's computer clusters and other study spaces that you can book to work in as well. This is Laidlaw Library. This was my go-to library in first year because Montague Burton's literally down the road over there. And to be fair, in second year, since you've had to book the library, I do often book Laidlaw. And they also have the Cafe Nero in here, which is really convenient well probably too convenient if you are in the library like I always end up getting a coffee but you can also work in there as well it's got quite nice tables and stuff this is the Michael Sadler building and to be honest there's not that much that I can say about it but there are quite a few lecture theatres in here, like quite big ones, so you may have lectures there if you are on campus for your teaching. This is the Great Hall. You have your exams in here if you have them in person sometimes. This is where the graduation ceremony takes place. The only time that I've actually ever been in this building is right at the start of first year to register for my student card, I think. But this is like the main red brick university building. This is the student services building. Not gonna lie, I've never been in there, but you go in there if you need to sort anything out with your accommodation, I think, like your student finance, your student card, just things like that. At the moment, obviously they're operating online, but if you are on campus, that is where you go. There is so many gorgeous buildings on this campus, like the Great Hall and Bainswing, and then we have this that isn't even remotely similar to the other buildings. It just looks so out of place, but there is loads and loads of lecture theatres in there, so you're probably going to have a lecture at some point in there, and it is a nightmare to get to. I used to dread it whenever I had to go in there because there were just so many flights of stairs. I think there's like 25 flights of stairs in there. This is the pond next to Roger Stevens. You Usually there's ducks here, but there doesn't seem to be any right now, but it's really cute. Sometimes I'll sit here if I go to the library and have lunch, and the ducks have lunch at the same time, but they don't seem to be here at the moment, which is disappointing. This is the edge, and this is like the university 
on-campus sport facility. So there's a gym in there. I think there's actually a climbing wall as well. There's a swimming pool. And if you are in first year and you're in one of the university owned accommodations, you actually get a free off-peak membership, which is pretty good. I've also done some exams in here as well. In first year, they have big sports halls that sometimes are used for exams. There's also a couple of bars in here and I can't show you because it's closed at the moment but there's actually a club downstairs and every week obviously in normal times there's Fruity Fridays which is like one of the biggest club nights in Leeds for uni of students. So right in the middle of the campus there's this massive green space which is St George's Fields and it's kind of hard to get to like you do have to search for the entrances but I think this used to be a cemetery. I'm not sure if it is now, but it is really nice when it's sunny, as you can see. So if you go straight up the campus from the entrance and cross the road, there's actually like another little campus called the Western Campus. And this is where the business school is and then all of the buildings behind this building are either business buildings and there's also the school of law in the corner as well. Also I forgot to mention that there's another Cafe Nero in the business school. I don't know how many Cafe Neros we have on campus but it seems like quite a few. So yeah that is my quick fire tour of the University of Leeds. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I hope that you could sort of follow it and it gave you a better idea of what the campus is like. Like I said at the start of the video it is by no means a comprehensive tour and if you are seriously concerned considering Leeds as your first choice, then I would really recommend coming and visiting if you can. Obviously, that is subject to travel guidelines and the rules and regulations in your country or wherever you live, but it is a good idea to try and get a feel for the place yourself and see if the vibe is right for you. I hope that this video was still informative and if you did enjoy, then make sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in Leeds, I have so much Leeds-focused content from the two years that I've been at this university so definitely make sure to check those videos out on my channel and also follow my social media particularly on my Instagram I am always posting what I'm up to out and about in Leeds so definitely go and follow those bye guys yeah.